guys, Becky from Old Man Mountain here. Today, we will be installing an Old Man Mountain divide onto a suspension fork. We'll use a 10 mil box wrench, a four and five mil hex wrench, torque wrench with a four mil hex, and anti-seize or grease. This installation will be using a fit kit, so we will also need a six mil hex wrench, side cutters, scissors, and pliers to tighten the zip ties. We're gonna start with orientating the rack. We're gonna make sure the N is closest to us in the Old Man Mountain and O is furthest. Using dropout one, we will place it on the inside of the rack on the left side with the bolt collar facing in. Use the figure as shown to decide which height to set your dropouts at. Using hardware kit one, we'll install the dropouts with the bolts facing in and a washer on each side. Using our 10 mil box wrench and our four mil hex, we're gonna tighten up the bolts, making sure the dropouts are aligned before we snug it down. Since this fork doesn't have any eyelets, we're going to be using a fit kit to through axle mount it. Your fit kit comes with a rear or front axle, two pucks, eight zip ties, two pieces of protective tape, and hardware to match your fit kit. Be sure to use the supplied zip ties because they have a metal tang, super strong, and are UV stable. First, we will remove the stock axle. Compare your axle to the one provided in your fit kit. The axle's thread pitch should match. The shaft length should be within plus or minus two millimeters. Use the spacers provided to match the length and taper of your stock axle. Next, we will install the Robert Axle Project axle, making sure to put grease on it. Torque the axle to 12 Newton meters. Now we'll put the rack onto the axle, making sure the dropouts are facing the back of the bike and the Old Man Mountain logo is readable on the non-drive side. Now using hardware kit four and making sure we grease our bolts, we will secure the rack to the axle. We will make sure to tighten snug and we'll torque down later. Before we install our pucks, we will apply the clear protective tape, cutting to size, making sure it doesn't overlap before we place it on the fork. Place the tape as close to in line with the rim as possible. Next, we'll install the puck with the hex facing towards the rim and the supplied zip ties. I like to align the zip ties facing backwards. Pull them as snug as you can, but do not cut them yet. They will settle into place so we can snug them up a bit more. Be sure not to zip tie the brake line to the fork. Using hardware kit six, we will attach the extender to the puck. Using hardware kit two, we will attach the extender to the rack. Now we will torque down our bolts to spec, making sure our rack to axle bolt and extender to puck bolt are three Newton meters and the rest of the rack bolts are six Newton meters. Now that the zip ties have had time to settle, we'll give them one more tug and use nail cutters or side cutters to trim the zip ties. All right guys, now that your rack's installed, it's time to get out and ride.